Town is on to election day, of course, seven days to go. Both presidential candidates are rallying voters together, though some say one group in particular is going to have a big role in this election. They're talking about young voters. Two on your sides, Alyssa Clausell spent the day talking with college students at Buff State. So Alyssa, what are they telling you today? Hey, well, Courtney, they're telling me that they are planning on going out and voting. And according to the Erie County Board of Elections, voters 18 to 29 that college age make up a large chunk of the voting population, 16% of registered voters in the county to be exact. And this year, as I said, they are heading to the polls. As we hit the official one week marker until Election Day, Young voters, some at the polls for the first time, are weighing in on what's most important to them. Uh, the most important thing is just like the economy, you know, um, I'm getting of age to like to where I'm going to be out on my own buying a house and stuff like that. The number one thing that I think is important to me is education. Women's rights for reproduction, the choice to choose. Although students have varying perspectives on candidates and issues, there does seem to be a common thread amongst students. They're planning on getting out and voting. Manny Mejia, a junior at Buff State, is one of them. General consensus here, a lot of people, a, a, a lot of young people especially, are, are making plans to get out and vote. They're pre-registering. I know a lot of people that have already voted early. This year, the university will have an official polling site open on Election Day on campus. Organizers say the accessibility will be a game changer for young voters. They know where that building is. They probably walked past the building that the polling booths are going to be in. It makes it much more likely that students, especially new voters, are going to vote. And young voters, especially locally, have an impact in Erie County. In the 18 to 20 and 21 to 29 age ranges combined, there are over 104,000 people eligible to vote. I think any election is important because it, it's going to you know, judge how the next four to eight years of our country is going to look like. Um, but especially this election. That polling site on campus, the LaRusso Alumni and Visitor Center, will be open for voting on Election Day from all the way up until the morning to 9 p.m. at night. On your side in the studio, Alyssa Clausell, Channel 2 News. Alyssa, thanks. And two on your side, of course, is your Election Night headquarters on Tuesday, November 5th, Election Day. We will be live on our streaming app, WGRZ Plus, from 8 p.m. until midnight. Our team is going to be on the ground bringing you up-to-the-minute information as the results come into our news. And of course, you can download WGRZ Plus right now for free. It's easy to do. You can do it on your Roku, Apple TV, or Fire TV subscription.